Hey there, guys. It is Josh C with Steppel, and welcome back to some Shadows of the Damned Blind. Last episode, we beat App 2, or 3-2, in one go. Like, in one episode, it's over, quick, super fast. This episode, we're going to start on Act 3-3, as evil as dead. So let's continue. Whoa. For as long as that level actually took to load, I was not expecting it to, uh, just instantly pull up. And then these dolls want to dance? Hey, baby. What's wrong, baby? She's gone psycho. Run for your life. Well, it took her... I don't know, that was... <laughs> that <laughs> took a while. That is why I love her. But she never gets mad at you. Oh, she gets mad. One morning, after a bout of passionate lovemaking, she was the making a coffee just to get a reaction. And skull has eyes. Was married. You were being funny? Yeah, a practical joke, you know? Chicks love those. Paula was so angry, she grabbed a knife and chased me all over the apartment. She is scary with a knife. Ooh, she got a little too close. So do these hold her back or something? Can we just pause it? You aren't the same one. Same tactics? You're kind of dumb if you have the same tactics, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, oh, yeah, nope, not the same tactics. Shit. This sucks when you're bad at aiming. And they like to to dodge the fucking light shots. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I was right. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be right. Nope. Okay, I see. Okay, that's the difference. Damn. There's a shiny little red spot on their chest. That's the one I'm looking for. Oh god, there's so many more. Which one is that one? It's that one. No. No! No! Oh god! Drink! God damn it! Where? No! As someone who is really bad at aiming with this, this boss fight is really hard. Reload. Need more ammo. Which one? Which one? Gotcha. Sorry, bitch. You ain't getting me today. Reload. Oh, is that it? Don't fear the Reaper, too. Oh, wow. Wait, that's my blue gem. Hey, no, that's my blue gem. Why does everyone like to take things from me? Fill me up. All right. 300. All right, Willie. Check my point. Going in. Oh, that's blinding. Hey. Heart. I heart you guys. There's my blue gem. Oh. So this time, it's optional. Or maybe that is actually where I need to go. Either way, we're about to find out. Can I dodge in this place? I can. Give me my blue gem, Buster. Wait, that ended it? Now here's a pretty prize. Mm -hmm, 
nice you said that last time plug it in G so what's with the two spots on his chin oh wow Johnson's teether has been upgraded to teeth grinder now you can fire an insane amount of demons teeth at double the speed thank thank to the multiple barrel that's that's a spelling error. Now you can fire an insane amount of demon's teeth at double the speed, thanks to the multiple barrels. Uh oh, Suda 51, you got a spelling error. At the cost of some precision, a great weapon for crowd control and quick enemies. So, do I like not have a choice? Yeah, apparently I don't get a choice in this matter. We can still try it out. I get the feeling they're going to give me an enemy to try it out on. Like the one behind me? Ah, here we go. Actually... I kind of like this. Shit. Now I really need a capacity upgrade on it. You're not down for the count. Shit. I missed. Reload. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. Back off. Ooh! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Only the VIPs get to keep their genitals. So how does that work? How does kicking a demon in the nuts work if they don't have their genitals? Oh shit. No, 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 no. I need this. Go ahead and just see how much armor I can knock off. I cannot, I cannot knock off that much armor. Switch to the, there we go. Are you kidding me? I missed. All right, it's your turn. Your friend's gone. Now you go. Oh, hello. Let's quickly reload everything. And destroy that barrel. Ooh, tequila. Eyeball. Oh, I was like, what is that weird orb? It's an eyeball. Here you go. Batter's up. Or batter up. Oh, hello, sushi. Oh shit. Skados Locos have taken a shine to us. <sighs> Stay in the light. We can't see their eyes if they're wearing a mask. Stop dodging stuff. He doesn't even have a mask. Well, that one had a mask and it didn't seem to matter. Where? Oh, I see him. Sorry. You have no invite to this party. Shit. Oh, you. Sushi. Stop taking your time. I see you. Hey. Damn it. Am I standing on sushi for a minute? Oh! Where's your helmet? Where? Oh, okay. Um. Sushi. Huh. Oh! 
I knew I was gonna tank that hit, but I didn't know I was gonna take that much. Where are they? No, I want this. This is a bad idea. Ooh! Yeah, Alright, seriously, they're not even wearing masks at this point. <laughs> they are just showing up. Sushi, please! Go towards Willy! Oh, so all I had to do was ask. Thank you, Sushi. Um... This is a... Ah! This is a cabin in the woods scenario. Oh, is this an Evil Dead reference? Oh, Why fuck off. Like I'm in a movie. What, were you raised in a bar? Oh, God, it is an Evil Dead things. reference! Oh, my God! As evil as dead! Oh, my God, it's an Evil Dead reference! <laughs> I love this. Am I hitting you? Nope. So now do I go down there? Where? Ah, there you are. No, no, no. Come on, stun him. There we go. Well, if I remember correctly, uh, we just grab a chainsaw and start massacring them. See, again, I don't think that should work because they don't have genitals. This is absolutely wonderful. I love it. Baby, you all right? The Legend of Stinky Crow. Okay. What what's the Legend of Stinky Crow? The Legend of the Stinky Crow. Go, go. For nearly 14 years, his mind had been soaring miles above. But have Elliot we encountered Thomas this guy? Was still stuck down on Earth in the boring town of Sinchester. So he was a crow kin, is that what I'm getting? Sinster. What? It's pronounced Sinster. How do you know? My cousin's from Sinster. Never mind, keep going. <sighs> Alone in his treehouse, he glued feathers to his wing suit, readying himself for the day he would join the Phoenixes and Quetzalcoatls. In the Why does this sky. get like an Icarus vibe for me? Dinner time, cried his mother from their house across the yard. Elliot sat at the center of the table. A TV dinner was challenging this B.O. as the dominant smell in the room. <laughs> On his left, his mother yammered about her day at the ER. On his right, his father was absorbed in his smartphone. Like any good father. As for Elliot, his eyes were fixed on the ceiling fan. The most fascinating personality within a ten-foot radius. In homeroom the next day... Schmuckowski? Justin Schmuckowski threw a crappy paper airplane at him. Within seconds, Elliot had built a superior vessel. He stood up on his chair and swiftly launched the Papier Flieger. What? 
at his unsuspecting enemy. Go, Papier Flieger, go! Okay, Papier Flieger. Sport. That's how you pronounce it. The marvel of paper aviation lodged itself in Justin's tender eyeball. Mr. Thomas bellowed their teacher. Go to the principal's office. You don't office. go to the principal's office for just stabbing someone in the eye with a paper plane. You get expelled Later for that shit. That day, Elliot was cooing quietly to himself as he bought a candy bar in the lobby. Casey Witch Tits was smoking nearby and sneered Witch at Tits? Him. Her name You'll is Witch never Tits. never fly, stinky crow, she laughed. Why don't you go jack off to some bird porn? <laughs> if it's bird kin, I bet he will. Then flapping. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Fuck you, screeched Elliot as he ran for the door. It was dark out by the time Elliot meandered home. On the sidewalk, he passed a gaunt man who stared at him intently, desperately oh. even. Uh-oh, stranger danger. The man opened his mouth and said, It's George! This is the candy bar that he got. Elliot had planned to eat his candy bar tonight while he finished his masterpiece. But he So Elliot gave the candy to bar the to George. I know what From the last story, when we found right. George dead, or when they found George dead. The schoolyard was packed the next morning as Elliot's classmates waited for first bell. Go, go! As one, the students turned toward the gate and saw Elliot dressed head to toe in his wingsuit. After a moment of shock, they burst into laughter. Okay. But they were already far below him. He swooped through their midst and into the school. Call, so he actually call. got the wingsuit working? He bounded wow. through the halls. How old is he? Like 10? He's like an engineering genius. Call. The school let out a collective gasp when they saw a stinky crow on the roof. With a triumph, Vant snap. He no, I guess he didn't get it. Wings, and then moments later, he had leapt. The next two seconds were the most beautiful of Elliot's entire life. Guess he's he not an engineering genius. Eyes upon him, he was flying, and their hour was keeping him aloft. Ten minutes later. As guidance yep. counselors wiped bits of Elliot off sobbing students, and the police struggled to piece together the story you are reading now, Elliot's teacher looked down at the wreckage of the boy on the pavement and never forgot what he saw. One bloody hand had formed a peace sign, the other. Yeah, it's just rigor mortis sitting in. Don't worry about it. It's like an Alanis Morissette. Ah. The end. <laughs> okay, lovely. I don't think I'll sleep for weeks. <laughs> I honestly was expecting that to be more of a, uh, a Icarus kind of deal. Where he flew too close to the sun. But nope. Just suicide. Can't go back up there, can I? Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right, moving on. Hey, Willie. Oh. <gasps> Chris, how you doing, buddy? See, now I'm happy to see you. <laughs> oh, I would hate to be the dumbass that got tricked into renting that cabin. I don't have enough for Red Gem. Ah, let's buy a thing of demon skulls and be done. Save up my gems till next time when I can afford a Red Gem. Y'all take care. Make sure everything's reloaded. Wait. Yep, okay. Moving on. See you later, Chris. Hey, baby. You're, uh... Boy, looking a little worn there. To pieces. Run. Shit. Going blind. Look, 
Run, run as fast as you can. Come on, baby. I don't have time for this. I gotta run for my baby. Oh, shit. Oh, she's right behind me. <laughs> I don't really have time to kind of aim at the demons. Not with her chasing me. Oh, I can stun her. I can stone cold stun her. Let's, uh... Do this. That's, uh much more effective and there's the eyeball seriously I don't have time eat it quick is that he doesn't look like a demon oh shit it's a demon hunter You first. The base? Why do I get the sense you and me are in the same line of work? <laughs> Wasting hell monkeys? Who says it's work? Uh-huh. Just stay out of my way, friend. Oh, you're tall. I'm in a hurry. Hurry to do what? Mind your own fucking business. Fine. You stay out of my way. As long as I stay out of yours. Good. Hard men like us don't mix. Wait, 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 wait. Who's that a comma? Hard like hardened. Experienced. I'm glad Johnson said something. Because I was about to say something, and mine wasn't going to be too pretty. If you'll excuse me. Have fun. Just remember. I stay out of your way. You stay out of mine. Bingo. Where's Paula? That headphones. All right, so there's Willie's shit. Let's read this. Local woman dies in grisly murder. Look, gee, what are those newspaper articles? It says, local woman dies in grisly murder. Maria Dominico, a native of Langosta, was found dead early Thursday morning outside her suburban home. She was 29 years old. According to local police, her skin... <gasps> her skin has been completely removed. There's Good an X. Lord. She is survived by her husband, Colonel... I bet it's him. That's weird. The name has been x down. That's the Colonel. Whoa, why'd that shoot? Sorry, that doesn't usually happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I think this is a good stopping point because we have to go back out that door and here's a checkpoint. I think it's a good stopping point. So uh, that's for this episode, guys. Uh, next episode, we'll head out the door and try and, I don't know, try and knock some sense into Paula. That actually sounds like some some relationship abuse right there. I'm not going to knock some sense into her. That, I'm not into abusing women. Nah, nearly just don't abuse anybody you're in a relationship with period man or woman just don't abuse them be nice to the people you love anyway along with that psa and now the more you know i'm gonna head on the next episode guys remember to like and subscribe and i'm gonna head on there right now hope to see you there <laughs>